Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to Bio News Network. We're actually taking a very very close look at a weather system that's actually making its way across the United States and it's going to be bringing a significant amount of rain and snow uh, to the area um, especially primarily in the southern plain states uh, we're talking about the areas of Louisiana we're talking about Arkansas and we're also talk taking a look at severe weather conditions that are going to be um, occurring in the area of Oklahoma Oklahoma City Wichita Kansas and that area so before we actually get into this um, weather update um, I would like to invite you to go ahead and subscribe like and share this video so we can actually take a look exactly at the weather system that's actually making its way across the United States and all of the different impacts that are going to be uh, making its way through uh, the system. Uh, primarily we're looking at significant snowfall in uh, Colorado area as well as northern New Mexico. We're also taking a closer look at possibly heavy snow in the area of Flagstaff, Arizona and also the Utah area, Salt Lake City area. So there's going to be a significant amount of snowfall activity that's going to be occurring um, in the next uh, 48 hours. So we're going to actually take a look at the actual cyclogenesis of this system, what's actually contributing to um, this uh, um, wintry, wintry uh, mix of rain and snow as it makes its way through um, the southwest area, through the plains, through uh, the east and up to the northeast. So if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead, like, share and subscribe. And thank you so much um, for um, watching here at Bow News Network. So let's actually get into it. So we actually have a system that's making its way um, across um, through the southwest area, the central area, um, it's going to be pretty much uh, remaining stagnant. So that's why we actually mentioned that there's going to be an event of cyclogenesis because uh, that's always precluded by a stationary low, low front that's actually in this area. And combined with actually what's happening with uh, lower um, cold air that's actually coming in from the Canada, Canada and there's going to be a high pressure system that's actually going to be funneling uh, this system and actually putting quite a bit of pressure on the low pressure system that's going to basically dig definitely into the Colorado area um, over the next uh, few hours and we're going to see we can actually see um, uh, temperature anomalies which are going to be uh, represented by uh, the gradients here where we see actual changes in temperature as this cold air migrates down to migrates from Canada and as this um, low pressure st system actually digs deeper into um, the area we're actually going to see uh, quite a bit of snow possibly three to four inches of snow up to a possible foot uh, within the next two to three days and as it gets a little bit more resident in the area uh, we anticipate that it's going to um, actually lead to quite a bit of snowfall especially um, transitioning from Saturday into Sunday but as you can see um, from the uh, the western third of the country is basically in a frigid zone and then if you can see actually the, pre the, the temperature gradients and temperature anomalies for the remainder of the of this area we actually see in the, in the eastern and the southeastern the gulf states are relatively warm so there is actually going to be as this uh, as a high pressure system as I mentioned actually brings um, cold air down into the continental United States we actually see a severe um, severe event warnings actually occurring right in the Oklahoma City um, actually in the area of um, Louisiana area Arkansas um, uh, also Tennessee Valley area Ohio Valley area significant storm activity and also this is going to be a mix of um, rain uh, freezing rain and snow um, as it tra as the system transitions slowly across into the southern plains into the Mississippi Valley Tennessee area but we do see that quite a bit of snowfall is going to be occurring and this is going to be a, a transitionary mix of uh, rain and snow as this low pressure system really tightens up. Um, as we look at the weather model, we actually see quite a bit of um, 
we see quite a bit of um, heavy, uh, tight, very isobars. And when we say tight isobars, it means that there's going to be heavy gusting of winds also with this system. So it's going to be almost a blizzard-like conditions, and we can actually see the migration of the system as it makes its way over the Colorado area and northern New Mexico. Um, it's actually anticipating quite a bit of snow, but primarily we're looking at the areas of Utah and Colorado to be heavily impacted. And as this low-pressure system slowly makes its way across, um, then the severe um, weather system um, warnings are going to be in effect um, for the, the Southern Plains area. Uh, we can anticipate very, very severe thunderstorms going uh, transitioning from Thursday into Monday, uh, heavy rainfall as this system makes its way across. But as you can see, the Florida area is relatively uh, clear. And, and, and it's actually warming up and the Gulf of Mexico um, with all of the very very warm air uh, this is actually fueling um, the intensity of the storm system as the cold air migrates down from Canada and the warm air migrates into um, into the southern United States states such as um, uh, 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 Louisiana, Mississippi, uh, the Alabama area, we do see that this zone, which is northern Texas, um, we're looking at uh, Tennessee, uh, we're looking at Arkansas, this area is actually poised for very, very severe uh, winter activity, um, severe rain activity, severe thunderstorms, possibly tornadoes touching down. So we are actually taking a closer look at this system, and we actually can take a look uh, at a one of our weather models here, uh, we do see that the low pressure system will be migrating eventually uh, down into um, the central area of the United States. And with that said, we can actually see um, um, the the genesis of these heavy thunderstorms, as we mentioned, actually making its way into the Oklahoma area, into Kansas, um, into um, the area, uh, into the Southern Plains states, and we do see um, significant uh, interactivity with the atmosphere over the Tennessee and Kentucky area. So we do anticipate that with this low pressure system just basically making its way firmly into over the weekend into um, uh, northern Texas, Colorado, there will be significant snow activity um, in the Colorado area. And then as we move, as the system moves um, across, it's going to be um, actually um, generating quite a bit of severe activity um, across the southern United States. And here we actually can take a closer look at the, um, basically this, is, this model has to do with storm uh, vorticity. Um, and the intensity, basically highlighting the intensity, and we can actually see over the Colorado area um, significant um, storm activity, and then as the system makes its way across, uh, we do anticipate that we're going to see significant storm activity, primarily in the Louisiana area, Tennessee, and uh, Kentucky area, but this will be severe thunderstorm activity as well as severe um, rain, um, possibly hail, even tornado activity. So this is what we're actually tracking at this particular time for um, this system. And as we move closer into the weekend, into next week, we do anticipate that there'll be a secondary system that will be moving across. It will be moving across a lot faster than this low pressure system um, that, has, uh, that will be basically digging its way into the Colorado area, pr producing quite a bit of snow, possibly in the area of Denver, anywhere from four inches to possibly a foot and a half to two in the higher elevations. Uh, keep in mind too that precluding to this activity, There'll be, um, there's going to be um, snowfall in the Sierras here and as the system makes its way into uh, the Colorado area and starts to migrate east, it's going to be severe, um, diff uh, severe uh, winter activity um, transitioning into a winter mix of snow, freezing rain and uh, possibly hail as well as tornadoes uh, primarily in the area of possibly Oklahoma and Kansas. So um, as we go into next week, we're going to continue to monitor the situation uh, with this storm. And as uh, conditions change here at Bound News Network, we will continue to monitor 
um, the system as it makes its way across the United States. As always, please go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. And we hope that this, uh, if you are interested in more of the content, please go ahead and s subscribe and share. And uh, please look forward to future updates. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching uh, Bound News Network.